Look, bro, I'm gonna butcher a lot of names and stuff, so forgive me, okay? So, in Ghostwire Tokyo, you play as Aikido. Now, here's the thing. Everyone else is in Tokyo is gone. Maybe there's a few survivors. I don't know. We'll find out soon. Maybe. But yeah, Akito is not in an ideal situation. But, you know, he got possessed by a powerful spirit named KK. And that gives him powers that will help him fight, fight off the, the what you want to call them? The, 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 hold up. I got it. Uh, the visitors. But don't get it twisted now. KK is not giving Akito all these powers for free. You know what I'm saying? My boy has his own goals, his own motivations, and all of that. Uh, there's a strange group of dudes with Hanya Max. And let's let's keep it a buck. Those dudes are probably responsible for the disappearance of everyone in Tokyo. And they probably brought the visitors here. Alright, final thoughts. I mean, I like where the story's going. Plus, I think it's pretty cool that the invasion already happened. You know, the game doesn't start there. The goal of the game is not you trying to prevent an invasion. Nah, the villain's already done with that. Step one is already complete. And now some dude that got possessed by a spirit has to figure things out. And that's pretty cool. I like that. But let me know what you think about the story of Ghostwire Tokyo in the comment section below. And while you're down there, subscribe if you like these kind of vids. And if you don't, then don't. And I'll see you, Space Cowboy. Peace.